Well, it's a brand that even the First Lady wears. J. Crew, hundreds of stores across the country, more than a billion dollars in sales, and now plans to expand. Alina Cho takes us behind the scenes. Can I have your attention, please? Meet America's Merchant Prince. If anyone can just bring in uh, bestsellers. He's Mickey Drexler, CEO of J. Crew. When he speaks. Things that are new, any trend. The racks come rolling in. Show me, bring them in. The green is doing half of the sales of the Blythe Blast. This is the number one style. Yeah. Why the intercom? Why the intercom? Just why you don't see any walls here. Because I think most organizations have, are fortress oriented. Not at J. Crew, where Drexler's mantra is no profit, no fun. Once a catalog company for college kids, a decade ago, J. Crew was in a slump. That's until Drexler came aboard nine years ago, picked up after being abruptly fired from the gap. Who is your biggest competitor? Uh, you know, I could say anyone with a sewing machine. He's been credited with inventing casual Fridays by changing the way Americans dress, elevating J. Crew to affordable luxury. I mean, they really aren't the iconic American brand, aren't they? J. Crew has made itself into something magical. I mean, I know women who could afford anything in the world, and they will literally go through the J. Crew catalog and just order those outfits right off the page. He wanted to talk about Italian cashmere. He wanted to talk about our Italian shoes. He wanted to talk about quality. We hadn't been having those conversations. It worked. Under Drexler, J. Crew's sales have tripled to $1.8 billion with the first family's seal of approval. I want to ask you about your wardrobe. I'm guessing about 60 grand. <laughs> Actually, this is a J. Crew ensemble. Really? Wow. wow. You call her an act of God. Yeah, you know, look, you can't argue with that kind of uh, publicity. The secret, a big splash of color. J. Crew's signature. When you buy something like this, you're competing with 50 other retailers, and half of them have it on sale. So that's why prices. you've got this. We've got this. Look, color is a competitive advantage for us. He created crew cuts for kids, bridal, jewelry, and everywhere there's sparkle. 233 stores nationwide. They're in Canada and have their sights set on China, too. This season, for the first time, J. Crew presented its latest collection under the fashion tents. Six foot tall Jenna Lyons is the resident cool girl, J. Crew's president. I sort of joke that I'm like the road signs. I'm like, don't do that. Let's do more of that. Stay over here. No, stop. And, you know, it's maybe just a little bit of that that sort of keeps everything coming out the tunnel at the other end. Kooky color combos, a touch of the unexpected. I wore these, I loved them, and here they are back again. But like, then you have to wear this with a sequin skirt. You know, it's not about this with like, you know, a kilt. Drexler's philosophy is quite simple and all American, just like J. Crew. Do it, do it right, pay close attention to the product, and over time, you will win. And you can get an exclusive look at runway shows, fashions, and trends on a special coming up. It's called Backstage Pass, and it'll be with Alina Cho. It airs this Saturday, September 17th, 2.30.